Hello, in this video we are going to do an example involving arithmetic sequences. The question says, find the common difference and the tenth term of the arithmetic sequence 5, 8, 11, 14, dot, dot, dot. This is an example from my book, Precalculus for Legends. Let's go ahead and carefully work through it. This is a really good example because it really gets you to think about what is an arithmetic sequence. So what is an arithmetic sequence? It's a sequence where every term except the first term is obtained by adding a number to the previous one. And that number is called the common difference. So here we have to find that number. What is that number that we're adding over and over again? You can kind of just look at it and tell, right? Five, to get to five, to get to eight from five, you add three. To get from 8 to 11, you add 3. To get from 11 to 14, you add 3. So 3 is the common difference. But you can find it right, via a formula. You can just do 8 minus 5, and that's equal to 3. That's our common difference. Or you can do 11 minus 8, and that's equal to 3. That's our common difference. Or you can do 14 minus 11, and that's our common difference. So what's the answer? D, little d, is the common difference. This would be the common difference. So that's, that answers that part. The really interesting part of this problem is to find the tenth term. And this strategy that we're going to employ in this example carries over to geometric sequences as well. So to find the tenth term, here's how you do it. To find the tenth term, well, if we're going to get there from the first term, how many times should we add a common difference? Let's think about that. If, if you're going from the first term to the second term, you have to add it one time. If you're going from the first term to the third term, you have to add it two times, right? If you're going from the first term to the fourth term, you have to add it three times. Notice every time it's one less. So to go from the first term to the tenth term, you have to add nine common differences. Okay, so like let's just pretend if it was the 11th term or the 12th term, it would be 11 common, always one less. Right, pretty cool, right? And in general, there's a formula for this, just to really make the point. If you're trying to find the nth term, how do you get there from the first term? You add n minus 1 common differences, right? Beautiful math, I love this stuff. So cool, right? So it's because it's it once you get it, it's like, oh. So a sub 10. Well, what is a sub 1? Well, it's right here. It's 5. It's the first term, right? So this is gonna be 5 plus 9, and then little d is 3. This is where I mess up, so I'm, not, I'm gonna be careful. So a sub 10, time to pull out the, the big calculator. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. 5. I always think of those mathematicians in like, you know, the 1800s. They didn't have calculators, right? They just grinded it out. Plus 27 is equal to 32. So that should be the tenth term. And the really cool thing is I have the answers so I can check. So I'm going to check right now. Uh, my book, all my books have full solutions to every example and every, uh, they're, they're easy books, by the way. They're for beginners. Uh, 32. <laughs> That's good. We did it. Now in, in the book, um, I did it a little bit differently. I used, I used the formula. I did it like this. Let me show you, just so you see. In the book, what I did was, so the formula is this, right? So in the book, just to make it easier to explain on paper, it's very different. There's a difference between reading a book and watching a video. So in the book, I just plugged in 10. And then what's a1? I forgot to plug in a1. Sorry, this is 5. This is, see, this feels harder to me. <laughs> so, yeah, it just, it just feels harder. I, I like to think of it as, you know, to get to, the, to get to the 10th term from the first term, you have to add 9 common differences. I, to me, that's a little bit better than using the formula. But you can't say that in a book. I mean, you can type it out. It's not the same. In any case, hopefully now you understand and you know how to do it. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, share. Check out my courses on Udemy. I have courses on tons of math. Links are in the description or on my website. 
mathswarshow.com. Check out my books. They're all on Amazon. Links in the description. Stay strong, my friends.